Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma Godson and for those of you who are new here and you have not seen my face before, now this is a fashion family. We do loads of tips and tricks on how to style up your wardrobe. We talk a little bit about luxury, a little bit of mid-tier and if you are into fashion and styling up your pieces and your wardrobe, making them stretch, this is the channel for you. So please do subscribe and join the Emma Godson family. So today we're going to be doing an unboxing of some luxury pieces that I've recently picked up and I can't wait to get into them. Without rambling on, let's get into this box. Okay, so what are we gonna start with? So I've got loads of boxes down here. We've got some Bottega. We have got some Jimmy Choo. We have got some Selfridges, which has some Christian Louboutin. We've got some Nadine Morabi over there, which is a nice little luxury brand which I'd love to introduce you guys to as well. So let's start with Jimmy Choo. Okay, so this is my first pair of Jimmy Choo's. I've always, always had my eye on a pair of Jimmy Choo's. These are called the Resling 100s. Of course, they come in the incredible box. Now these, I'm sorry you guys can't see me unboxing because of the way the video is set up. However, these shoes are what I have recently picked up. Don't drop them, Emma. They are just the most classic, amazing pair of shoes that I absolutely cannot wait to wear. Now, they are everything that I wanted. I've always wanted a pair of quartz that I know I can rock with so many different outfits. I am a mule girl, so this is kind of like a mule. It's got a little bit of a sling back, but it's kind of mule. But the only downfall to these shoes is that they're suede. And sometimes suede shoes in London, especially when it's always raining, like today, it, it can get a little bit techy. You don't want to always wear shoes that are suede in the rain because they can get messed up. And if you're spending eight, nine hundred pounds on a pair of shoes, you don't really want to be getting them messed up. So and that was the only downfall. But then I thought to myself, Emma, you're always in a car. You're either driving or you're being driven. You're always in and out of an event. You're never really on public transport. And even if you are, you would never wear these on public transport. So get them. So I kind of talked to myself into getting these. Now, just talk to you a little bit about the shoe. It is such an incredible shoe. I absolutely love it. Tell me this isn't just classic. I love a pearl as it is, but then to have them on the shoes going across is just incredible. So the heel is 100 millimeters, and that is probably the shoe that you can run in, do cartwheels in, because it's not too high of a heel. In addition, the heel is quite thin towards the top, and then as you get towards the bottom, it kind of broadens out a little bit which gives you that extra bit of comfort now you do definitely want an extra bit of comfort when you're wearing a nice pair of designer shoes because of course you don't want to just have them sitting in your wardrobe you actually want to wear them so comfort added into the shoe is important it has the extra sling back here so if you are that girl whose foot is always moving around in the shoe this is what you covered and then of course it is a point now I picked these up in a size 41 now I usually go a size up when I do a point because I like the space I think it's important that you don't crush your toes in the shoe because you will be looking like a penguin and that is not a lot so I went a size up and I absolutely love 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 these shoes in terms of how I can style them there's 101 different ways that you can style these. You can wear a nice pair of wide leg trousers and all you would really see is this point section, which is incredible because it kind of works as two pairs of shoes or you can wear them with nice little cropped trousers. And then when you have the crop, you get to see the whole beauty of the shoe. You can wear mini skirts, you can do with Bermuda shorts, you can do it with dresses, whatever. These shoes, versatile. So anyhow, this is purchase number one. Oh, absolute dream. Am I modeling this well for you guys? Can you see how beautiful these are? Oh, ah, thank you, Lord Jesus. Next up, if you guys have watched some of my previous videos where I used to talk about trainers that I wanted, a pair of Christian Louboutin trainers, they're called the Rantelos, they're menswear trainers, but they're the best shape that Christian Louboutin do. I think the menswear Christian Louboutin trainers are the best style as opposed to the ladies. I think the ladies are a little bit too rounded and they can make you look like clown feet. Whereas the Rantelos have a little bit more of a shape. So I found this incredible pair. However, let me show you them first before I actually get into what my thoughts are. So we have the Selfridges bag, which 
which is where I bought it from. And when I went in there, there's this incredible lady in there. So I went in there on the Saturday, the day before the sale started. And I just went in there because I wanted to find a pair of courts, because of course I'm still looking for courts. That was before I found the Jimmy Choo's. Was in there and I met this incredible lady. It was just so nice. You experience buying a designer piece so much better when the customer service is incredible. The girl went above and beyond. I literally was like, this is what I'm looking for. Found a few pieces, she was like, no, but I've got these in the back. I've got this in the back. I've got that in the back. I've got this, 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 this. And she literally ran all over and basically made sure I was okay. And I just was like, this is the kind of customer service that you pay for. It's just not in this day and age. You don't get it as much. So I was really, really appreciative. Anyway, didn't buy any shoes that day. Couldn't find anything I liked. Came back the next day, the sale was started. I was like, this is amazing. So I found some trainers. So as you guys will probably see, this is the Christian Louboutin box. This is how it comes. If you've bought a pair of Christian Louboutins, you would know. Pretty standard, but obviously they're slightly bigger because they're men's shoes. All right, let's see if I can do this so you guys can actually see what your girl purchased. Okay, this is not gonna be as easy because they're already in the dust bags, so. Let's put this box down. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So let, <laughs> don't gasp. These shoes, or these trainers, on the shelf were just, when I saw them, they were so banging to me. But I had to think about how I'd style them up. So that's why I'm a little bit like, hmm. Because I have to think so hard about them. I don't know if these are a keeper. But let me show you anyway. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are gonna like this, but I absolutely love they don't look as nice on camera because they have a little glisten. But tell me that the are they clown shoes, guys? Tell me if they're clown shoes. But I love when I saw them, I just love the white sole. So a black pair of trainers with a white sole. Incredible. Now in the shop, you couldn't see the glitter. Now I'm looking at them, I'm thinking, am I really? Really? But in the shop, you could not see the glitter. It was quite plain. It felt a little bit more classic in the shop, but now it feels a little bit more like a clown shoe. I don't know if I can rock these. I don't know if I can pull them off on a regular. We'll see. Anyhow, the Rantolo shape is the best shape. So as you can see, it's quite squared off here, as opposed to like rounded. It is rounded, but it's a little bit more squared. I don't know if you guys can see, but I love those little details and those little nuances in trainers. When the shape is right on your foot, it just drops and then you do a nice little bow at the top you look incredible the vision i had for these beautiful trainers was an all white so a white denim skirt with a white tank top with these trainers and then a bright yellow bag with some shades can you guys see the vision just a vibe you know a vibe very casual you're going out shopping you're going out to run some errands you don't really want to do too much but you want to feel comfortable still stylish this is the trainer that you wear. And sometimes not everyday heels. I know I'm a heel girl, but sometimes it's nice to just have a nice designer pair of trainers that are a little bit more smarter. They're a little bit more smart casual. So even if you wanted to do a date night, but you wanted to do it in a trainer, this is a great way to do it. But as I'm looking at them on the camera and in the viewfinder, I'm kind of like, hmm, Emma, I don't think you snapped on this one today, you know, darling. I don't think you made this one happen, you know. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Of course, they come with the dust bag. And the good thing about Christian Louboutin is they give you a dust bag for each shoe. So listen, each shoe has its own entity. It has its own world. It can bask in its glory in the one bag. Whereas the do we choose, you only get one. It's all right, you know, you still get one, but it is nice to have two so that each shoe can shine in their own bag and they don't get scuffed up and they don't get scratched and they rub against each other and you know they don't have fights in the bag you want them to be peaceful yeah moving on to the next piece now this green Bottega bag gets me so excited when I see these green boxes because it's, you just know that there's a banging shoe on the inside so this of course 
is the box Bottega Veneta. I've always loved Bottega. Before it became Bottega it is today, before it was taken over by Daniel, it was just a vibe from before. I've always loved it. I've always loved their kind of clutch bags that were quite interwoven. I loved it from before. But then recently, and they've kind of come in with the square toe and they've kind of taken over and been a little bit more of an Instagram well brand. I've kind of taken a step back and I've watched from afar and been like, hmm, is this style for me? Is it a trend that I can see myself wearing? Can I see myself doing this on a regular basis with the square toe? Is it dainty enough? Is it stylish? Is it classic? Can I do it? So I kind of sat back and thought, hmm, what shoe would I like? I loved the slip-on mules. They were square, they were leather, they had the nice little strap over. Very simple, very plain. I know I could rock those regularly. I tried them on, they're not for my foot. They're just not for my foot. As much as I love them, I've seen so many ladies wearing them, but these are square, but they're a strappy sandal. And if you guys have been following me over on Instagram, or if you guys have been following me over here, you know, Emma loves a strappy sandal. I'm the girl that if it's raining, snowing, whatever it is, I'm in a strappy sandal. It's the bread and butter of your wardrobe. You know you can wear anything with a strappy sandal. So I had to get these shoes. So without rambling on, let's do the unboxing. So of course, and this is the box. Is this a two bag bag? Yay! We've got two dust bags. So that basically means each shoe has its own party in the bag. We love that. We absolutely love that. So you get your nice little dust bags. Okay, so let's do the unboxing. Let me see if I can do this on camera. So you guys can see. Okay, let me get them out because you're not going to be able to enjoy them as much as you will if you see them. So these are the Bottegas that I've had in my mind, in my dreams. When I go to bed, I'm thinking about them. I see them on Instagram. I'm like, oh, I really want them. And is it just me? But the more you see things, the more you want it. And I think that's a whole social media marketing psychology thing where the more you see it, the more you're just like, I actually need those shoes. And that's a good thing for brands, like my brand and whoever's brand or whatever the case is. You constantly have them on the cool girls or the cool guys, then you know that this shoe's about to go through the roof. So I've seen a quite a few cool girls wearing this shoe and I'm just like, I love the way you rocked it. And I've been influenced. I have been. Amma the influencer has been influenced. And I've just said, you know what? I know how many ways I can wear these shoes. They'll go with so many pieces in my wardrobe. They're very, very simple. They're very dainty, but they're not dainty, if that makes sense. So the daintiness happens around this section here. Of course, the actual circumference of the shoe is quite big, so that's what doesn't make it dainty. But the fact that these little straps here, there's not much to it, is almost like a barely there kind of vibe, which I absolutely love. Okay, so now that we've got through the shoes, I've got one more piece to show you. Now, this piece was gifted to me by a brand called Nadine Marabi. Now, I have kind of seen them pop up on Instagram, and I thought, oh, these are incredible. They're very much kind of like a bridal kind of vibe, but you know that if you wanted to wear one of those dresses, you would be the show-stopping girl in the event or in the party, whatever it is. So I, I was super excited when they reached out to me. So this is the, the pic, tell me, look at the glisten, please. It's one of those show-stopping dresses. You know you wear it to an event where you really want to stand out. You really want it to be, you're the lady who's celebrating their birthday or you're doing something that's quite special. This is a great dress to wear. Now, it's a V-neck and it's kind of like a wrap detail at the front. It's V-neck, of course, so it kind of cuffs your boobage quite nicely, gives you a nice amount of cleavage. And the best thing about it, it's a short dress. I don't normally do short dresses, but lately I've been really, really into short dresses. It's actually got this really long, almost like a sash going down the leg. So I'm gonna try this dress on so you can actually see the true beauty of the dress, because you're not gonna see it as I hold it here. But as I've got it close to my face, I'm just like, this is the glisten, the shine, the beauty, the detail, the craftsmanship is amazing. So the fabric itself 
is almost like sequin details and it's got this really nice embroidery detail going through it as well with the white a very unique fabric which I love it's quite heavy as well it's got some really nice shoulder pads so it gives you structure in the dress as well I picked this up in a small um, and it is quite fitted so I would usually pick up a small or extra small I was actually gonna go for an extra small but I'm glad I didn't I went for a small and it's quite fitted the arms are super super tight which is what I love when you buy a dress and the arms are like if they're not it kind of takes away from the luxury design element of it so this is just the perfect fitting dress not only is it perfect for like that date night or if you want to go to somewhere really really special but it's also one of those show-stopping pieces that is going to last in your wardrobe for a long time so that is it thank you so so much for watching this video if you are the girl who loves a bit of fashion if you enjoyed this video please do hit that subscribe button not only girls actually if guys if you also enjoyed this video please do hit that subscribe button please do join the Alma Godson family we're a fashion family we do loads of videos like this we do loads of styling little bit of vlogs little bit of beauty as well luxury and mid-tier so if you are interested like I said do hit that subscribe button and don't go anywhere watch one of my other videos because there's going to be plenty more coming so I shall see you in my next video take care guys bye